Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about this story out of New York City of a man attacking people on the streets of the Upper East Side, one of the most historically wealthy areas in this entire country for a very long time, while wielding a baby stroller. Yes, that is what is happening in the city of New York, and we have updates related to this. We got to get into it. It's absolute madness. You're going to want to stay tuned. But before we get into that, I want to thank everybody who signed up over at actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Give me the money. Give you give me the money. OK. And thank you to the podcast listeners, Spotify, Apple and Google's podcasting platform. Attacker pushing a stroller has been terrorizing people who live on the Upper East Side. That's right. Police are now searching for the suspect who could be responsible for dozens of attacks in this area. So first of all, I know what all of you preverts are going to say immediately. So I have to address it in order for you guys to not have it in the comments all the time. Yes, that woman is quite attractive. And honestly, I'm disgusted with with you for bringing it up because we're trying to talk about a very serious kind of comedic criminal who's attacking people with a baby stroller so you better you better you better shut your face Bianca and Rosanna, good morning to both of you ladies. Yeah, it seems to be the same pretty much MO every single time. This suspect is wheeling a stroller with a baby in it, by the way, ramming into people with that stroller, spitting on them, and even demanding money in return. So first of all, I just want to say congratulations to this reporter right here for picking the absolute best spot to shoot this segment. The truck beeping as it's backing up is totally not distracting from the point, and looking at the truck aesthetically is quite beautiful. So you nailed it in every possible way. It's totally not making my ears bleed and it's also not visually lacking in terms of it being a dynamic shot. But also, let me replay that part again in case you missed it, because this story is even crazier than I initially thought. This suspect is wheeling a stroller with a baby in it, by the way. So yeah, the criminal suspect at the heart of this is not only attacking people with his stroller, he's attacking people with his stroller that has a baby in it. He is using his baby as a weapon in order to commit crimes against women, spit on them, assault them, and demand money from them. And unsurprisingly, as we're going to find out throughout the course of the events of this story and the subsequent story of him being captured, this guy is going to have a lengthy criminal history. Weird how somebody who would use their infant child as a weapon in order to commit crimes against women likely just didn't spontaneously start doing that randomly and actually has a long history of criminality and probably should have been locked up a long time ago. All of a sudden he lunged at me and wordlessly spit in my face. Upper East Sider Kelly Kreth says this man suddenly assaulted her as she was walking home from the library on the morning of August 14th. Exactly one month later, the suspect has yet to be caught and is tied to several other violent, unprovoked attacks in the neighborhood. So look, I'm not trying to say anything about this woman. I have a lot of respect for this woman. She was victimized by a horrific crime and she's gotten a lot of people together in a Facebook group in order to make sure that this person can be locked away for a very long time. So respect where respect respect is due that being said she said she was walking home from the library in the morning and I, I don't believe that I'm just saying that sounds like something you tell to the news because you don't want the news to know exactly where you were the previous night so you're like oh yeah yeah I, I went to the library in the morning that that's what I did so I'm just saying a little little sketch there not you know I was shocked, super scared. I snapped a few pictures of him, saw him spit in another woman's face, and continued very, very slowly. There's one telltale sign when it comes to potentially tracking him down. Take a closer look. In this photo released by NYPD Crime Stoppers, the suspect is seen wearing a red cap, white long-sleeved shirt, blue shorts, and yes, he's pushing a stroller. A stroller he was seen with during every encounter. So yeah, the telltale sign is it's a man with a stroller on the Upper East Side, the baby's in the stroller, and he's attacked a bunch of different women now they have a certain amount of reports to the police and one of the problems that people don't understand is that the police can't do a lot if you don't report the crime so there's 50 plus incidents reported in this facebook group on the internet or on this website that tracks things going on on the upper east side so far the nypd is tracking at least six incidents involving a man with a stroller including an attack from last december where a 68 year old man on east 86th street was punched in the head and knocked out neighbors though believe the 
suspect is tied to many, many more. I verified uh, more than 30 of them, but we've counted contact with us well over 50. But the police only had like three or four reports, so they didn't realize the breadth and length of this epidemic of criminality from this individual because most people aren't going to the cops to report it. Now, I know I've criticized the city of New York for Alvin Bragg and his complete unwillingness to prosecute real criminals within the borough of Manhattan. I know I've criticized the state of New York for going soft on crime, releasing these people same day automatically due to bail reform. But the thing is, you can't get anything done if you don't take the first step to getting anything done. A string of attacks happened along the Upper East Side and in several reported cases cases, he spat on unsuspecting bystanders. Kratt was one of the victims herself, and as a journalist with the publication East Side Feed, she's been covering the incidents. Kratt and East Side Feed's reporting prompted outreach from others who say Mensa also attacked them. We were getting reports of multiple times a day that he was attacking people. Um, I just don't, it's beyond my comprehension that he was able to do this for so long. Again, exactly as I said, they're getting reports of multiple attacks a day in the Upper East Side on this website that she's running, and it took them so long to capture him because the reports on that website are not reports to law enforcement. You only had a few reports, so the police didn't know that this was an actual pattern of behavior. They didn't know how common this was, so they didn't really know to look for this person, and even some of the people who took photos of this person decided to post those photos on the website rather than turning them over to law enforcement. But thankfully, he was caught. As you can imagine, he does have a lengthy criminal history, including relevant crimes that should have kept him off the street. Let me play the local news so they can explain that to you. Police say that Mensa has at least 14 priors on charges, including assault, robbery, and grand larceny that go back to 2009. And again, this is unsurprising to anybody who's understood how our criminal justice system has been working, especially post the Black Lives Matter riots, where we go soft on criminals like this. Apparently, people are under the belief that he's using his child as a a weapon in order to spit on and attack women because he's trying to feed his starving family. In fact, he brought his starving family with him. Isn't this guy just the most amazing of all the Aladdins? all the time just trying to bring his kid introducing him to his lifestyle as he's trying to work so hard in order to feed his beautiful baby boy fox 5's arthur chien interviewed the son of a victim who says mensa so violently attacked his elderly mother last weekend that she was physically injured now look for whatever reason youtube has decided that they can age restrict my channel for showing stuff that is on non-age restricted fully monetized videos on local news stations so i cut out the injuries that you saw right there but they were skinning of the the knees and it was an injury again it's an elderly woman which just goes to show you that this guy was escalating in his violent behavior he was attacking people more frequently and more violently and this was obviously a problem that was on its way to getting out of hand and for those of you who are going to say there's mental health issues Obviously, if you bring a baby to your violent random assaults, you definitely have something wrong with you, but that is no excuse to be going soft on this perpetrator. He's incredibly dangerous, and he's getting more and more dangerous as time is going on, which is why it's so important to get him off the streets, which is why, almost assuredly, the city and the state of New York will do everything within their power to release this person back onto the streets. As legal analyst Andrew Lieb, if the track record of unprovoked attacks are escalating in violence. Could Thursday's arrest mean Mensa will be off city streets? Uh, the physical injury on the victim, we hope not for that for anyone, but that's when the charges become real serious and we could get serious jail time. Again, you could presumably get more serious charges because of the more serious assaults. You could presumably get more jail time because of the record and the charges, but remember the Upper East Side is in Manhattan. Manhattan is covered by DA Alvin Bragg, and Alvin Bragg is downgrading over half of the felony charges to misdemeanors that has been put forward to him so likely this guy's already out on the streets attacking somebody else because that's how alvin bragg works and he would never dream of pursuing any kind of habitual offender law against this person because i don't know if you're aware of that that's evil white racism if you were to do that as for kreth she's concerned that new york state bail reform laws could mean mensa will be back allegedly harassing menacing and assaulting unsuspecting new yorkers not only do i personally have many many fears that he will either get out um, very quickly, that there'll be no bail set, or even if there is a bail, that he'll do this again. 
because he was previously arrested several months ago, got out, and then did all of this. Again, true. Now, the Upper East Side, for those of you who are unaware, it is a wealthier part of Manhattan, but usually these are wealthy liberals, wealthy progressives, some of the strongest Democratic stronghold in the city of New York. So there is a better than not chance that this woman voted for this, even though she's speaking definite truth related to how the system works, how it works in New York City, how it works in New York State. So maybe, maybe not, maybe she voted against it. Who the hell knows? But at least she's being accurate about what's going on. And she looked into his criminal history, found out that he was arrested for assault just three months before these incidents started, immediately got out, started committing these crimes again. So prior behavior is a good predictor of future behavior. So we know he'll reoffend if released. And we also know that DA Alvin Bragg has no interest in prosecuting this person. We also know that bail reform will work to aid this person. We also know if he's on probation or on parole, we have less is more, which greatly limits the ability of parole officers and probation officers to violate parole or probation in order to have somebody serve their time when they continually reoffend, which by the way, defeats the whole purpose of parole or probation. But if you think that matters to the state of New York, you haven't met Kathy Hochul yet because she's cheering on and saying, look, we don't have any data at all whatsoever that shows that when you release violent criminals back onto the streets and allow them to commit more crimes, that that actually leads to negative results. We reached out to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office about this story. The office said it couldn't comment until after the arraignment. We didn't hear anything further from them before the start of this newscast. And of course, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office has no comment related to this, related to the past charges. They're saying that they can't say anything until the arraignment and again by the time the arraignment actually happens i'm sure this guy will be out on the streets again i mean he's a father he has to provide for his kids it would be evil white racism if they were to stop this father from using his kid in continuous assaults on women in the upper east side now of course if somebody were to actually defend themselves against him if somebody were to try to restrain them then alvin bragg would prosecute that person saying that this innocent angel Aladdin who's just trying to feed his family by spitting in elderly women's faces decking them in the face ramming his kid into those elderly women in order to start the altercation was attacked in front of his son by an evil white racist that was trying to defend himself you can bet your bottom dollar if this person is released if he continues to offend if somebody steps up and defends any one of these women all of a sudden Alvin Bragg will remember that the district attorney can actually charge people and that person will get consequences that person will be punished we'll hear all this talk about evil white racist vigilantes doing horrible evil white racist things to angels who use their baby boy in order to attack elderly women it's disgusting it's shameful this woman from the upper east side is 100 percent right even though i don't believe her that she was coming back from the library in the early morning hours on which she was attacked but hey those are just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like the video, show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on my social medias, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about the baby stroller bandit. Till next time.